Okay, welcome to day three of the vlog in Denmark, and we are in Aarhus. In fact, we're at the harbour. Check this out. So, the, got in last night, and it absolutely lashed it down. I did try and get out of the camera. I got one photo, got absolutely soaked, and just um, called it a night after that. But we're up and at it this morning. There is some blue sky. I might do a time lapse in a moment so you can see what it's all about. Um, and we're going to try and get around the city. To help me get around the city, check out my ride. Don't tell my wife because she'll kill me for riding one of these. But um, this has been my ride, get me around. And we're going to get some shots of this beautiful architectural dock building, dock one. Might try some uh, slow shut along exposure work. Um, and I think the 8 to 25 will really come in handy here. So, yeah, let's get cracking. I don't know where this life will take me. I just know I'm here for the ride. Baby, there ain't no sense in waiting. Yeah, we don't know if we got the time. Oh, I'm just a country girl. One thing I am trying at this location, just because just it seems to work really well, and I'll be honest, is because I set the dial to the wrong uh, mode, but right mode, uh, is the art filter uh, mode. I'm just trying some grainy black and white shots of the building, and the art filters really help to sort of, you know, help you pre visualize how the shot will look. Of course you can convert to mono in Adobe Lightroom or other software, but out here in the field, it is quite cool to have that in your back pocket. So you can just switch it into art filter mode, try all these different sort of effects, and it's fun. Okay, so I've been in the docks around about an hour now, and I've had some good light. It is getting brighter, not over that way, more over that way. Um, and I'm just going to spend a little bit of time reflecting on the OM5. I've had the OM5 a good few months now, but I must admit it has been underused because I tend to fall back on the OM1, which I've also brought out with me to Denmark. It's a great camera though. It does a lot of what the OM1 can do. It's got the high res shot, which is great for um, landscapes, cityscapes as it's been this morning. Um, you can capture those high resolution frames, which is important when you're using a micro four thirds system. What don't I like about it? Well, I, there are a couple of niggles. I don't like the menu system, um, which is different to the M1. And I don't like the charging port, which is USB-B rather than USB-C, which is uh, what the M1 uses. That just makes things a little bit more awkward. The battery life isn't as good as the M1, but I can sort of live with that. Um, but it is an incredibly small and light camera. And for things like this, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I've got my camera bag with me today, but Really, you could just put it in your pocket and off you go. I mean, it's so light and portable. And with a lens like the 12 to 45, which I'm using a lot today, it does um, make the job very comfortable. You're not weighed down by lots and lots of kit. And 12 to 45 translates to the 24 to 90, so it's a good workhorse lens. That, you know, it's great for cityscapes, great for wide angle stuff as well. So the plan now is to head over the water into the middle of the city and to a museum, I think, uh, that's got a cool rainbow balcony. You'll understand when you see it. It sounds very cool though. Um, so yeah, let's head over there. The only question is, do I t walk or do I take the electric scooter? Check out this street, absolutely amazing. So cute, the cottages are just beautiful. A guy came out one of these cottages and I was having a chat with him. And uh, he says they're quite expensive, I don't doubt it. So um, yeah, I'll take some pictures and then move on to the next location. In the museum now, and uh, it's very cool. So I'll take a walk around and see what we can find here. So 
do not adjust your white balance. This is the rainbow panorama. Very loud, lots of school kids visiting today. So um, yeah, we won't do much audio, but it is very cool, very high, and you see a lot of our hosts. Okay, check it out. The weather has just got really, really good. <laughs> it's so changeable today. Um, but I've come to the Gamble, which is um, essentially a living museum, really, of how Denmark was back in the day, all through, all through time, really. So it starts off very, very early days and then goes right up to sort of like the 90s, really. Um, and there's even a blockbuster video. So, yeah, I'm just gonna take some shots it's hard to sort of when there's lots of people around, but I'll try and get some pictures and uh, see what I can find. Day four, last day, we're near the beach. Something special coming in a moment, but first, something else that's quite special. We're at a deer park. And what's special about this place is that they're actually quite tame, apparently. So, let's see if we can get some pictures and also how close it can get to them. Deer are usually quite uh, scattish and uh, don't want to go near you, but these guys might be different. One thing I would say about the 40 to 150, the focal length of equivalent 300 mil in a tiny, tiny body makes such a difference when you're yomping around and you don't want to carry a large lens. It's uh, quite surprising, like I've been using this lens for a while now. It never feels to surprise me how light it is. It's really useful. I'll tell you what this place reminds me of. <sighs> Do you know Frozen, where all the trolls appear out of nowhere in the forest? It's got that sort of vibe. There's lots of sort of boulders and lots of twisted trees and it's beautiful and the autumn light is just peeking through the leaves as they fall to the ground. It's a very chill place. I imagine if you live in Aarhus, this place is only, what, 20 minutes outside of the city centre. It's such a cool place to come and chill. Even in your lunch hour, just come and have a walk, hang out with some cool deer. 
and uh, yeah, relax. So we've come to the last location of the adventure and it's a very special one. We're just south of Aarhus, we're at the beach and a very special location called the Infinity Bridge. And from the drone footage on the screen now, you'll understand why it's called the Infinity Bridge. So I was very lucky, I came down here fairly early on where the, you know, before the crowds were here and managed to get a shot pretty much with nobody in it. But not only that, there was a violinist doing a photo shoot down here. So we managed to hear some absolutely exceptional music too. Uh, very, very cool. It's something I won't forget in a hurry. So that's the end of this adventure. Where do I go next? Well, me, I'm off to the airport, but where do I go for the next photo adventure? Well, I'd like to hear what you think. Put some ideas in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for coming along on this journey and I'll see you next time.